Hello and welcome. In this video, we will use Monte Carlo simulation to calculate out a probability or odds range of where price will be at the end of this year. Monte Carlo simulation is one way that analysts and financial risk managers estimate future prices and risk of loss. The concepts used in Monte Carlo simulation are the same concepts used in the pricing of options and other derivatives as well as the Black-Scholes formula. The idea behind Monte Carlo simulation is that we take the daily rate of price change and use it to calculate out the probability or odds of the future rate of change over a certain length of time. In other words, we take the percent that price changes each day using continuous compounding and use it to calculate out a range of probability of where the price will be in the future. For more on understanding Monte Carlo simulation, including everything in the rest of this video, please see my video on understanding Monte Carlo simulation step by step. For this video, I took the daily closing price of silver from Kitco over the last year. I then calculated out the periodic daily return for each closing day. The periodic daily return is the daily rate of change using continuous compounding. For more on the periodic daily return, see my video on the periodic daily return. I then calculated out the mean, variance, and standard deviation of the periodic daily returns. For more on this, see my three video series on the standard deviation. Because the periodic daily return is a random number, in other words, the price of silver can change any percentage each day, the central limit theorem tells us that the periodic daily returns are normally distributed. In other words, if we calculate out and graph the periodic daily returns for silver over enough days, the central limit theorem tells us that the graph should form a normal distribution bell-shaped graph. And therefore, the graph of future periodic daily returns should also form a normal distribution bell-shaped graph. We can use this graph, along with the empirical formula, to calculate out the odds of expected future price. To create a normal distribution curve, we take the future expected rate of return and the standard deviation. For the expected rate of return, we use the average of the periodic daily returns, but we erode this value to account for volatility using standard return erosion of the rate of half of the variance over time. Therefore, the expected rate of growth each day, which really means the rate of growth that has the greatest odds of occurring, is the average of the periodic daily returns eroded by volatility at the rate of half of the variance over time. To calculate out the expected future price of silver, I took the current price of 1643 and multiplied it by e raised to the power of the average of the periodic daily returns minus half the variance times the number of trading days. If we assume 29 trading days for silver left in this year, this makes the expected price of silver to be 1588 at the end of the year. The empirical formula tells us that the actual rate of return has a two-thirds chance of falling within one standard deviation of the expected future rate of return and a 95% chance of falling within two standard deviations of the future rate of return. Therefore, we can use the standard deviation and the empirical formula to create a probability or odds range around the expected future price. To do this, we take the daily standard deviation and scale it at the rate of the square root of time. In other words, we multiply the standard deviation by the square root of 29 because there are 29 trading days left this year. Calculating out the expected path of price plus or minus one standard deviation gives us a range of 1479 to 1705. This means that there is roughly a two-thirds chance that the price of silver will be within 1479 to 1705 at the end of this year. Calculating out the expected path of price plus or minus two standard deviations gives us a range of 1378 to 1831. This means that there is roughly a 95% chance that the price of silver will be within 1378 to 1831 at the end of this year. Again, if you are confused by the formulas or calculations, please watch my video on Monte Carlo simulation, and if you would like to take your studies even further, watch my series on the Black-Scholes formula. So that is Silver Monte Carlo Price Extrapolation. I hope that you enjoyed this video. Thanks for watching.